my favourite TV show, a lot of people kind of judge um, because it's not, you know, considered to be a part of the sort of the Game of Thrones and the, that sort of calibre of television show. But to me, it's, I think it's the greatest show of all time. And I'll tell you what that is. But um, just promise that you don't sort of react like I'm an idiot. I know it's a dumb show, but it's my favourite. My favourite TV show of all time is um, uh, Bondi Rescue. I fucking love Bondi. Do you know it's still on? It's still on. It's getting to the point where I'm starting to think that cockroaches and Bondi Rescue are the only things that will survive the apocalypse. And I'm fine with that, baby. Just three rescue boards and Osher Gunsberg emerging from the ashes. And I love that. I, lo I love Bondi Rescue so much. I started watching it. Ironically, it popped up in my, in my YouTube feed and it was a full episode and I was like, oh, this will be dumb and I was hooked. I've watched every episode of Bondi Rescue since 2007. I've gone through every single one. It's my favourite show of all time. And the reason I love Bondi Rescue so much is because I always know what's going to happen. Okay, it doesn't spring surprises on me. It's the same five dumb things that happens on every episode of Bondi Rescue. Every time I'm surprised, every time I'm fucking enthralled. I love Bondi Rescue. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. In fact, does anyone here watch Bondi Rescue? Oh, really? Great, okay. Well, you guys will kind of be my barometer for whether or not this is true. This, I've made a list, and it's the, uh, the five things that happen on every episode of Bondi Rescue. Now, just not along if this is, uh, if this is accurate, okay? There's the five things that happen on every episode of Bondi Rescue uh, without fail every single time. Here we go. <clears throat> Number one. Someone gets caught in a rip. Yeah. Could be anyone. Uh, from anywhere. Any, uh, any, any continent? Any top, no, any top person, of course. Anyone. Anyone, no, so anyone can. Get, and, no, they can. It can. Ha it could happen, hypothetically. <laughs> It, any type of person, I'm not saying a single type of person gets caught in a rip, but I'm saying uh, anyone can uh, get caught in a rip, because it's very dangerous, very dangerous rip, and uh, uh, you know, we all know, but yeah, anyone can. Uh, could be a local. <laughs> could be, could be a local. Not once, 14 seasons. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but could be, it could be. Anyway. All right, number two. Someone spots a shark. It's always a dolphin. Oh, bugger. Uh, <laughs> number three, someone hurts themselves at the skate park. Oh, that's not a wave, dickhead, get out there. Uh, number four, someone loses a kid. They always find them. What a shame. Number five, and this is my personal favourite. Uh, someone's being a little pervy on the beach. And that's good. That's a good episode. Nothing makes me laugh more than someone getting caught metal detecting with an erection. That is... <laughs> Good comedy. And that's why I like it. Because something, one of those five things will happen on every episode. Um, however, um, there is a sixth thing that can happen on Bondo Rescue. Now, this is, uh, if I'm being honest, uh, my favourite thing that can happen on Bondo Rescue. Um, now, it's a little controversial, and I have lost crowds before, and it can seem a little disrespectful when I say this, but I'm just being honest, you guys seem friendly. Uh, you know, you're all friendly faces, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, my favourite thing uh, that can happen on Bondo Rescue is when someone... dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I know it's wrong. I, I know. I know. I'm fully aware it's fucked up, but if you, you'll agree they are the best episodes. They are. They just are. Like, it's just the, for the sheer drama of it all. They're, and they're twice as long. You know what I mean? Like, if there's anything worth dying for, it's a double episode of Bondi Rescue. You know what I mean? Like, I give myself up for the cause. I don't mind. I love it. I, and I love those episodes. But it's hard because, you know, like, you want the suspense of not knowing. Are they going to live? Are they going to die? Are they going to live? Are they going to die? But, like, you know. Like, at the start, you know. Straight away. Because in that little teaser right before uh, Thirsty Merc comes in and starts singing that absolute belter of a tune, um, they, they get out to them on the rescue board and um, they've got this phenomenon that I like to call uh, a blurry face. 
and that's when you know. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty hard to sign a consent form when you're floating face down into the afterlife. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen, but still I try to pretend, oh, what is it going to be? And I tuck myself in, I go, this is fucking dead. She's so thirsty. She's going to fucking die for sure. And I love it, and I just get popcorn, I have a great time. And, and I know, I, I know, and I can see some of you like, this guy seemed all fun and games with the sandy shit, but now he's kind of taking this dark turn. I'm not sure I like it. But the thing is, I'm not making fun of people dying on a beach. Absolutely not. That is so faux pas. But what I will make fun of is how surfer dudes deal with tragedy. Because, oh man, that's, that's funny. That's real funny. Because the fuck thing about being a Bondi lifeguard is that, like, you've all got silly nicknames for each other. Oh, fun, silly nickname. Oh, it's the surfer dudes, you know? And it's all well and good to have a silly nickname, you know, when times are good. But when shit hits the fan and someone dies on your beach under your supervision and you've got to do your end of episode interview and you still kind of have to refer to your comrade by their silly nickname, <laughs> this is what you sound like. You know, we come to this beach every day. And ultimately it's our job to make sure everyone gets home safe. And when that doesn't happen, you know, it leaves a hole in your guts. A hole so deep. See you, mate. A hole so deep. <laughs> no, I'm not off in half an hour. A uh, hole so deep. Yes, beers. A hole so deep. <laughs> it, it may never be filled again. And just think about those boys on that beach, you know. The boys in blue. Those boys that did all they could today. Boys like, boys like bacon, singlets, hoppo, curb box, oh curb box, gonzo, oh gonzo, mouse, big tits. No, she's the only chick in the tower. It's fucking sick, man. But no, it is sad. And... I don't know. I'll be thinking about those boys. Take me back to the sweet next week. Taurus are being sucked out to sea. Yeah, mate, the hands going up. Get out there now. A dark figure looms beneath the ocean's surface. Get out of the water now! Skateboarder has injured himself at the skate park. Yeah, no, I dropped in. I felt a twist straight away on you. Yeah, no, it's fucked. A missing child. Beth! Beth! And what's that man doing with that camera? I don't know what happened. I got caught in a rip. Next thing you know, I'm in the woman's toilet. Splur. To be seen next time on Bondi Rescue. And that's my favourite thing in the world. <laughs>